Hi my friends, today we model this assembly which is called special joint and which contains mobile parts. If we select this part which is a fork and we apply drive we see that uh, mobility very interesting before we start let's see what are the components plate is the, the fixed or grounded part of this assembly bearing one two this is number one this is number two bolt which are two fork also two pivot also two and lever only one this green part Let's start. Standard millimeters IAM, not standard millimeters IPT. And we place firstly the plate. I apply right click to place grounded at origin this part. What means this? This means that the assembly work features to be identical with the parts ones and you can see that this is the YZ plane of the assembly and this is the same for the part. Now you see that uh, we have a not a normal position. Why? Because this part was made in the year 2014 and uh, in uh, that time this was the orientation of axis. We want to place this so because in the year 2014 this was the orientation <laughs> it was changed since that moment I select this point and I apply set current view as home fit to view. You don't see this but you know from my previous tutorials. Good. Now if I move this and I go to the home we have the Z axis oriented up. We continue by placing other components. The bearings R2, 1, 2. I place them with their button face. This is number one. You see here, bearing one, bearing two. I select this face to be placed here. Apply. Also, the other to be placed in its position. Okay. Now, I know that these two parts have uh, their work planes in this order. You see? 
xy plane is at the bottom where is the center point the center point is in the middle of the bottom face I can show you this by applying center point and you see where it is good I want to place them in their position to do this I select this plane of the uh, very one aligned with a plane from the plate which is this one apply now we can move this along this plane and that's all same for this we know that it is placed on the face we cannot move it uh, outside if you think this is lower placed you see that it is still at this face we go to that uh, second pairing this one and we place this plane along this plane of the plate let's do this constrain this plane to be aligned with this plane apply now we can move this bearing along this line and the other one along this good place the fork one two we use the constraint insert to place this axis and face over this axis and this face okay same for the other one constraint as uh, insert to be here okay I move this outside to have room for the other parts the next one is the pivot one two and they are also constrained as uh, insert one is here apply and the other is here okay I rotate them to be in uh, position as we need you see we have some mobilities limited mobilities the positions are uh, this is down and this is up we place the lever open here and we constrain it also with the insert this face and axis to be here apply and also this two okay now I force the the movement 
and you see that we have a freedom look if we try to rotate we will see that this is not okay what is the goal the goal is to have uh, this two bearings placed at the same distance from the the end in other words to be symmetrical about this plane diagonal plane to be more specific or uh, clear i made a drawing this is the drawing and you see here all the situation this distance is 50 from the center point of the bearing one plus half of this 38 half is here and multiplied by sqrt of 2 this other symmetrical dimension is the same of course we'll use this expression in uh, uh, the next uh, action i constrain the center point of the bearing number one this is the center point you see here and the mid plane of this second bearing this is bearing two that plane is this one and i write here exactly that expression 50 plus 38 divided by 2 multiplied by s q r t of 2 i accept the relationship because here is a simple instability when i move a bearing the situation becomes okay which means that we fulfilled the goal we can apply rotation and you see that parts are moving correctly the next constraint is uh, the angle i want to have zero degrees by using this solution between the face of the fork fork number one and this plane this green plane okay now i cannot move anything here and i uh, take advantage to place also the bolts one two they are not important at all but we want to have something uh, real i apply constraint of uh, insert aligned between this end circle and this hole apply the same for the other apply okay i collapse all children to have all the components together now comes an interesting topic what i present here is based on the existence of the components that appear in the assembly regarding this modeling you have two options one to contemplate what i do and apply my actions by creating your own components of this assembly 
and two try to create the assembly using the actual components you see in the tutorial if you want to create this assembly independently you must own the component that is uh, they must be yours a separate creations that I made for the purpose of showing practical aspects in the tutorial you can download the components only from assets access to assets is done by subscribing minimum to the level journeyman membership you see here the levels of membership core journeyman patron professional excepting core the other ones includes the previous ones all we have to do now is to create the movement we select the fork number one because we see we know that this is the angle and we use drive from zero to 360 is a, a complete rotation let's see what happens it happens what we expect to happen yes this is exactly what I had presented to you at the beginning Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.